Will cars slide all over the place when it snows on the road? Now, right now, there's no snow and people are just driving normally. Let's add some snow on the road and see what happens. Yo, guys, I think you <laughs> Look at them go. This actually works. That's crazy. Oh, my days. That guy just knocked over a lamppost. Well, first one's real. Let's go. For the second myth, people will actually slip over in the snow. This woman has high heels and just watch her walk away. She literally just slipped over, dude. Well, it is icy after all. That's amazing. I didn't even realize they had these kind of details in. These are the craziest details ever. As you can see, I'm busting 50 myths in GTA 5 today. If you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it and let's go into the next myth. Will NPCs dress warmer when there's a blizzard outside? It's a blizzard. I mean, this is freezing. Now, let's take a look at what people are wearing. All right, that guy's got a scarf. I mean, I suppose that's kind of warmer. What about you, ma'am? <laughs> She's literally got like open skin. She's in a dress. Wow. All right, people don't really care that it's snowing. Like that guy is in shorts. That is so disappointing. Guys, it's snowing. When it's really cold outside, you can actually see the breath coming from Franklin's mouth. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Did you see that? That's literally his breath. You can see it coming from his mouth. It happened again. That is crazy. The detail Rockstar have got onto with this game is out as well. Just, I love it, Rockstar. You, you've done a fantastic job. If I pour out this jerry can and then, like, try and set on fire, will it actually light on fire when it's snowing on the ground? I mean, logically, probably shouldn't happen. Uh, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. I mean, you can't really set fire to snow, and I can't even see the jet. Wait, hold on. I think I can. Yo, guys, it's like frozen puddles of jerry can in the snow. That's crazy. All right, let's see if we can set this on fire. Oh, oh. <gasps> What? Dude, it actually works. No way. You can set fire to jerry can fuel in the snow. That is actually crazy. What if you throw a Molotov on the ground? Will that set fire? Wow, you can set fire to the snow with Molotovs. That is insane. What? <laughs> all right, guys. The snow does nothing. Fire, like, beats all in this game. I'm learning a lot today, and I'm only six minutes in, but if you press the subscribe button, apparently the subscribe button will turn into, like, a frozen icicle and literally smash on your screen. So press subscribe now and let me know if it actually works. I'm flying a jet, the biggest plane in GTA 5, and I want to see if this thing will actually float in the ocean. All right, let's just, like, land it as carefully as we can. No. <laughs> no. Jets do not float in GTA 5. That's so disappointing. Do each of the characters weigh different amounts? Like, Franklin could be 70 kilos, and Trevor could be 60, and Michael could be 80 kilos. I mean, who knows? I've dropped them from the container, and now they're falling. I've slowed down time, and it looks like Michael actually weighs the most. He's falling so so much quicker. Yo, Michael weighs more than Trevor. That is crazy, dude. Michael hits the ground, then it's Franklin, and then it's Trevor. Wow. <laughs> Michael is the heaviest character. If I block the nozzle of a fire engine, will it block the water from coming out? Or will it just blow up the stickies? I mean, guys, I'm literally throwing so many stickies on this nozzle. There is no way water's getting out of this. I'm just gonna cover those holes as well. Dude, I am gonna cover like every single inch of this nozzle on the fire truck. There we go. That's covered. What? Are you kidding me? Dude, I can still spray water from the fire engine. What? It's going straight through the sticky. How? How is that pot? That is so crazy, dude. I don't even know how that's possible, but it is. If you bump into a police car, you will get a wonder level. Oh, oh, oh no, I've hit the police car. <laughs> no wonder level yet. What? All right, let's do a bit more of like a tougher bump. All right, nothing. Three, two, one, hit. No wanted level. That's amazing. I thought I would get a wanted level, but you don't get one. Myth busted. So apparently you can roll down your windows in your car. I didn't even know you could do this, but apparently you can. So as you can see, my window is up. Like you can see the reflections on it. That is an up window. Now, usually I would just smash this, but if you look in this direction and use your fist, you can then like roll down the window by just throwing your hand out. Like that isn't smashed. That has been rolled down. That is awesome. <laughs> So you can roll down windows. Will the police officers bust you if you play music really loud right next to them? I've rolled down my window and there's two officers here. Which radio station do I want to do? The Lowdown, the Lab, Radio Mirror Park. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick Radio Los Santos. <laughs> hey, officers, what a time for a party, yeah? I mean, I'm literally blasting music right next to them. Are they going to do anything? They don't care at all. They haven't even said one word to me. Myth busted. I've got a fridge and I'm going to place down like a bunch of stickies right in front of the fridge. All right, that's every single sticky down. I'm now gonna get inside the fridge, and just like the movies, will I survive by hiding in this fridge from those stickies? All right, I am in the fridge. Let's close that door. Okay, this is pretty weird. I am literally hiding inside this fridge. From the outside, you can't even tell I'm in there, but I really am. There, there he is. <laughs> All right, let's blow up those stickies and see what happens. Three, two, one, and I died. We still died. Franklin, 
fridges don't protect you from stickies. Myth busted. It's now raining in GTA 5, and I want to know if people use umbrellas. I mean, in the real world, they would. Do they do the same in GTA 5? This lady is not using an umbrella. Are you good? Come on, you're gonna get soaked. This is not good for you, ma'am. <laughs> Last time I got sick, it's because I got soaked in the rain. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I see any umbrellas. That guy's not using an umbrella. What? what are you guys crazy? Are you just literally getting soaked in the rain? Wow, no umbrella from her. I hate to break it to you guys, but umbrellas don't exist in GTA 5. Myth busted. That sucks. If I stand on top of that water fountain, will it jet me into the sky? Just like water hydrants do. Hold on. It's like kicking me off. Let's get on. That literally did nothing. I just walked straight over it. Alright, let's just like, stay stay on top of this thing. Anything? That's literally just went through my knee. Guys, these water fountains, they're not sending me in the sky. <laughs> they're literally not doing anything. When are these myths gonna be real? If there's blood in the water fountain, will it spray through the top? <laughs> let's find out, guys. Alright. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Alright, take him out. Take this guy out. Take this one out. Hey, where are you running to? Is there blood coming out of them? Dude, there's literally like no blood coming out of them. What? That's so weird. Now there's like blood in the fountain. Is anything gonna come through the top? No, guys. I don't think anything's coming through the top. Why? All right, well, that myth is busted as well. This is so weird. Fountains are strange in GTA. Where is that water coming from? So apparently every single clock in GTA 5 follows the exact same time. And I think this actually works. Let me just like switch the time through. Wow, on my days, every single one of them is moving apart from that egg one. That egg one is like not moving, but the minute hand is. Check it out. I can like move the minute hand. That is so strange. Why is the egg one always at midday? But everything else is like moving around. So I'm going to say that myth is real. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Can you walk on the power lines? Let's find out. All right. There's like a couple of power lines here. I just like get across a little bit and then. Oh. Oh, 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 hold on. I think you can. I got knocked by something. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's just go around. Oh, 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 no, guys. I don't think you can. I went straight through those power lines. Myth busted. If I touch the power lines and the ground at the same time, basically just this container, then will they electrocute me? Let's find out. And uh, no electrocution. All right, so these power lines will not electrocute you. Yeah, dude, nothing. Literally nothing. That is so strange. Why? Why? They're power lines, dude. They're literally power lines. I'm in North Yankton, and in this place is like a ton of ice. As you can see, I'm literally on a river which is frozen over. Now, will Molotovs set fire to this ice? Let's see. All right, let's just throw one down. No way. What? Are you kidding me? I'm literally melting the ice. The Molotov is setting fire to it. What? How is this possible, guys? You can set fire to ice in GTA. Wow. All right, I want to try this with the jerry can. Will the jerry can do the same? Okay, I'm going to pour down the jerry can, and let's just do, like, a circle or something. I don't know. Let's, let's just do this and then see what happens. I, this is ice, mind you. This is literally ice, and the fuel is burning. It's still burning, dude. Wow. All right, you can set fire to ice. Both of those myths actually work, although that didn't last too long, but still, <laughs> it still worked. Can you smash lights with your head? I know it sounds, like, a bit crazy, but I genuinely want know if we can. So there's like a couple of lights here. <gasps> Yo, dude, you can. <laughs> I just like ran into the light bulb. Okay, let's do it on this one. I'm just gonna run into this light. Are you <laughs> I'm smashing the lights with my head. What? What if I jump straight past it? Are you <laughs> Jeez, I still smashed it, dude, and I literally just ran into the light. I'm pretty sure you won't believe this myth, but trust me, it actually is, like, a thing, okay? In Michael's house, he has, like, a bunch of artwork, and he's got, like, this painting, this painting, and, like, this one, and they're all, like, places of GTA 5, which is actually pretty cool. That's, like, the neighborhood. But then there's this, like, one photo. I'm sure most of you guys can recognize this photo. It's, like, the lakes, basically, going into San shorts but let me just go downstairs because there's better lighting on this one <laughs> but i kid you not there is actually a secret in these photos like they painted something ultra secret because let me just bring out my phone just like zoom in on this you guys got to see this it's awesome there is bigfoots in this photo and if you guys are saying like that ain't bigfoot that's cool but th to me that's definitely bigfoot he's got legs he's the size of bigfoot he's got fur he's brown he's, he's bigfoot basically and they captured him in these paintings how cool is that if you jump and land on c4 like basically just trip over and land on it, then will they, like, blow up when that happens? I'm just gonna, like, put down a ton of C4, like, 25. Let's just make the biggest spread possible. Alright, one there, one there. I got, like, two left to put down, and let's just do one right at the back. Bam. Alright, there's 25 C4 down. I'm now gonna jump onto every single one of them. <laughs> Are they gonna explode? Let's find out. Three, two, one, and... Oh! Oh! What? Dude, I landed right in the center, and they didn't explode. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Three, two, one, and then run, jump. 
Oh, head first, yo. Head first. Did not explode. Myth busted. I'm gonna do the next myth. But if I get in a car, aka Tracy's car, and then like rev the tires over the C4, will they explode then? I mean, guys, I'm literally gonna be driving over the C4. What? How have they not exploded, dude? I just drove over them. Okay, now let's like spin the tires on them. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a front wheel drive for one second. <laughs> what? How is it not exploding, dude? I am doing this on a C4. Oh, my days. I can literally see a C4 right underneath this tire, and they're not exploding. That is insane. No way. <laughs> the most robust C4s in the world. There is a power plant, which controls the power for the entire city. Now, the question is, if I destroy the power plant, will it destroy the power in the city? If you walk along these, they will just shock you and send you straight off. Ouch. <laughs> That was crazy, dude. I've got an RPG and I've added rapid fire. Now, I'm just going to like fire rockets at every single one of these reactors and then take a look behind me at the end. All right, there we go. That's basically the whole side destroyed. This is so crazy. I am destroying so many reactors in this electricity plant. All right, I think I've destroyed like a couple of them. Basically all of them. Anything? Nothing. Myth busted. You can't. You just can't. This is going to be like a, a busting episode. I've got the fastest car in GTA 5. And if I drive this as fast as possible, will it drive on water? Go, 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 go. Oh, man, we didn't drive on water. Okay, myth busted. <laughs> what about the fastest bike? This bike goes pretty fast, and I'm gonna see if we can drive on water with this. Okay, Michael, here goes nothing. Three, two, one, and... Oh, jeez, I thought we were doing it. That was so close. Oh, man, guys, you can't drive on water with bikes or cars. That sucks. If you fire a rocket launcher at a bus stop, it will ricochet. Let's just see if it actually works, so... All right, that one didn't work, but let's just... Whoa, what? what? <laughs> dude, that literally went behind me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I gotta try that again. That was awesome, dude. It literally ricocheted like a full 180 degrees. <laughs> Oh, I just destroyed the whole thing. Well, we know it works, so that's pretty awesome. That myth is true in my books. So apparently, Mr. Balloon Man can't be popped, no matter what you do. And I'm going to put this to the test. So I'm outside Simeon's door. I've got a minigun, and I'm going to take this guy down. Oh, Mr. Balloon Man, you're going down, buddy. Oh, I think he's doing something. He's actually, like, sort of vibrating in the air. How dare he still be up? I have shot, like, a thousand bullets into this guy, and he's still standing. Okay, first of all, the rockets go through him, but when they do land below, I mean, he does kind of glitch out a little. <laughs> <laughs> He's bugging out so much. Is he gonna pop? Come on, come on. We gotta pop this guy. We gotta pop him. Jeez. What? <laughs> stretching. So oh, have I got him? Oh, you are kidding me, dude. How are you back up, balloon guy? Come on, that's not fair. I'm getting you. I'm taking you down. Well, okay, guys, Mr. Balloon Man is invincible. This is the prison, and if I drop a prisoner outside, will the police chase him? Okay, there's, like, a bunch of prisoners in here. That's great. I'm gonna just, like, take someone at random, like this guy. Oh, no, you're gonna be the guy escaping today. Okay, now he's escaped the prison. I have literally just dropped him out of the prison. Where is he? Has he escaped me as well? Guys, this guy's bolting it. He's already made it this far. All Right, guys, I don't know if the police are chasing him yet. I'm just gonna give it like a little bit of time and follow him and just see what happens. He's taking this escape. Like, he's going for it. Wait, no, you're going the wrong way. Bro, that's towards the prison. What are you doing? <laughs> What's this guy doing? Does he want to go back to prison? Guys, I've got an even crazier idea. I'm gonna call the police over here. Now there's an escape prisoner on the loose. If they see him, they're definitely gonna get him, right? Oh no, he's heading for the highway. Oh no, this could end really badly. Oh, <laughs> No, are you kidding me? Guys, my prisoner died. You guys just carry on with your own business? Well, the police clearly do not care that someone escaped the prison. So for that record, myth busted. When you're inside the prison, the only way of escaping is through the front gate. And doing that is extremely difficult. There is another way, however. Can you escape from jumping from the tower? I'm just going to prove to you we're, like, not invincible. And I'm going to jump from this tower. Can we escape from doing this? Come on, Franklin. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm dead. I'm... I'm dead. I, I, I died. I died. I literally just died. <laughs> you can't jump from a tower if you want to escape the prison. Why? I'm in the movie studio, and apparently there's like a scream which comes from one of these warehouses. I think it's this one. Let's just stay here and see if we can hear anything. Oh my God. It genuinely sounds like there's a monster in there. This myth is real. <laughs> There's the scream. They're filming in there. If you go to this location, apparently there is a really creepy myth. It's like down this alleyway and apparently it will tell you to just like turn around. I'm not even kidding. Check this out. Is it there? It's there. It's a turn back. Like why? Why is it telling me to turn back? That is so weird. But I'm going to do what it says. I'm just, I'm going. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going back. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> 
let's do the next myth. If you set fire to a gas tank, it won't explode. Check this out, guys. This is so weird. Like, if you shot this thing, it would explode into a million pieces. But if you set fire to it, it won't do anything. It's so weird. On fire over there. Let's go around the other side and, like, light this one on fire. I mean, these things are full of oil and, like, flammable liquids. And the fact it's not exploding is just crazy. If I fool onto this gas tank, will it explode? Bop. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Seriously, nothing, dude. I literally just fell on that thing. All right, let's try that from, like, an even taller height. Franklin, you got no choice. 100 meters from the sky. Oh, my days. Here we go. Seriously, nothing? There are two buildings in GTA 5, which when you line them up, they will actually make an Illuminati logo. I'm not even kidding. Check this out. These two buildings. If you line them up, you get the pyramid and the eye on top. How crazy is that? This is deliberate, guys. It's a real myth that actually exists. It's even cooler at nighttime because you get this little red light, which then goes like straight in the middle of the eye. And let me just prove to you guys this is real. Like that red light is floating. It's hovering because it's meant to go in the middle of that eye. Like check it out, guys. You're gonna find this really gross, but players have spotted giant cockroaches in this world. <laughs> They're literally like right under this thing. And then if, hold on, I think I just saw one. There's another one. There's <laughs> They're so big. Oh my days. They're so big. What? Why are they so oh my days? What is that? Jeez. Oh my <laughs> I hate them and seeing them so big. Are you kidding me? Oh, gross. No, no, guys, don't go here. If you want to go here, it's in this building here. Just stay away. This myth is real and it's horrible. Cars will break your full damage if you simply land on them. Let's see if this is actually true. So I'm just... Oh, 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 oh. Seriously, I didn't even land on the car. Well, I took a little bit of damage. Not too much. Now let's see what happens if I land on the car. All right, I'm going to like pick this one right here. Hey. Well, I took more damage. This is so much more damage. <laughs> I don't even know if this myth is busted or what. Like, cars give you more damage if you land on, on them. Just don't land on cars. If you land on people, they will break your full damage. So let me show you what happens if I don't land on them. So, oh, jump off. All right, I took a lot of damage. Almost died. <laughs> Literally almost died. Now, if I land on these guys, will they take away my full damage? Let's see. All right, I didn't take as much damage. Didn't go in the red. That's pretty interesting. But we still took damage, so... I'm gonna say that myth works. I mean, I didn't take as much damage. That's pretty cool. Will the character check the mirror to see what's behind him when I check what's behind me? Let me just test this out. So I'm driving around. I'm looking behind me. No way. Michael is actually looking in the mirror. You see that mirror in the middle? Michael's looking at that. Michael, take another look, buddy. <laughs> He's looking. Can you shoot the items in Franklin's house? So there's like some chairs here. Yeah, we can shoot them. What about the wine bottles? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, those wine bottles are gone. Those candles, pretty invincible. That table's pretty invincible, dude. That's not going anywhere. This is so sick. Whoa, that fruit bowl, that's invincible. What about the magazines? The mug? Alright, so some things you can shoot. That pizza box, dude! The glass, the wine bottle. Whoa, oh my days, that is so crazy. There is this really weird patch of grass, which is like over here. And apparently when you go up to it, it just looks like some alien grass. Uh, guys, seriously, I need to see this because it just sounds so weird. So I'm at the location and it's like in this corner. I think it's in this corner here. Let me just check this out. What? What is that? They're right. They're not even kidding. That is so weird. Guys, it is literally right here. Check it out. There is this really weird piece of grass. I don't even know if that's a glitch. It looks like something else. So I'm on a bike and whenever you rev your engine, you can spray mud behind you. Now the question is, can you spray the mud onto like walls and other items? So there's like this wall over here. I'm gonna spray the mud on this and let's just see if it actually works. All right, three, two, one. Start spraying anything. Wait, hold on. It's going through the wall. <laughs> it's going straight through. How does that work? That is so weird. All right, let me try it on this. All right, this metal thing. It just goes like straight through the wall. I don't understand. You can walk through the post in Stab City. So this is like a lamppost and <laughs> I just walk straight through it. What about this lamppost? Can we go through this? Oh, <laughs> just went straight through. What? What is going on? What about this one? Can we go straight through? Yep, straight through. Okay. Hey, guys, don't mind me just walking through your lamppost. What is up with this place? There is a really creepy place in this world, and it's underwater. Because there is a sunken body at the bottom of the ocean. This is where the body is, by the way. It's, like, just outside the military base, and it is so creepy. Like, this thing has been put in concrete and then just left here. Like, who even is this? Yeah, no, this is too much for me. I'm getting out of here. I'm swimming away. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Going. <laughs> Let's move it, Franklin. If you shine a torch in the police officer's face, they will give you a wanted level. No way does this work. Like, no way. They're gonna arrest me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
No, 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 don't arrest me. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, my days. This is bad. This is real bad. Oh, no. Come on, Franklin. You just got busted. But shining a torch in their face. Rockstar have added in a detail where magazines will literally fall on the ground. Let me just see if this even works. Because you can, like, shoot them and, like, kick them around and stuff. This might take a while. There's still, like, 40 bullets left to shoot out. Okay, I've just emptied my magazine. I've dropped it on the ground. And no way. This actually falls on the ground. And then you can... I can shoot them? What? <laughs> the detail, Rockstar. The detail. Can you run somebody over on the roller coaster? I placed my guy over there. I'm going to get on the roller coaster and let's see if we can. <laughs> He's still there. Watch out, my guy. Watch out, dude. I don't know what's happened to him, guys. He's there. He's literally still there. I'm skipping. He's still there. What? Anyway, that's 50 myths busted in GTA 5. If you enjoyed, slap a like on the video and help us get to 6 million subscribers. But thanks for watching. My name is Nort. And until next time, stay awesome.